I'm down at Doncaster Cables with Aaron to put the Rumpatec exports 3 and 500 through their paces. What does it traditionally replace in the electrical industry? You always remember in your younger days, Gary, big heavy duty jacks, heavy duty bars, take them on and off the van and then carry them around site. And we've replaced those with something that you can carry in one hand. So we've got a bit of branding in shot there. So we've got three drums of cable in order that we can look at the X-Board 300 and put it through its paces. Which drum of cable are we going to start off with? So we're going to start with the smallest drum. So that should be the easiest to position on the X-Board 300. And we can just pick that up and put that straight on top. Okay, and once it's on, there's a really smooth action in order that that spins around with that drum of cable on. So it's just a case now of removing the string and one person and one person on their own can obviously unwind this cable. But what's beautiful is obviously is the speed increases and decreases often the cables jump off the drum reels don't they and then they become entangled don't they yeah we can see that there it's just looped underneath but the Expo 300 has a chamfered base and the base actually rotates so it will continue paying off the cable and eventually it will actually pop it back onto the drum like it just has there okay so we've up the size now what are we on for now so we're going to stay with the Expo 300 we just have to load that up on top Okay, and again, nice spinning action, so we can see that going around with no effort. And this is a good shot of what happens. So the cable's dropped off, we're some distance away pulling it in, and then you can see, yeah, that rolls straight back onto the drum and becomes the one-person job that you want it to be. So the third drum being the biggest of them, what we got now? So this is three-core 16mm armoured, 100 metres, and we're now at about 150 kilos. Okay, and you've brought in this rod here. Where's this from? So this is called the Rumpo Stick. Um, you can buy them singly. Uh, that will attach to the export 300. We'll then be able to poke it through the larger drum. Okay, and this makes it easier to locate when you're dropping it down, is that right? Yeah, so we can poke that straight through the side. We can hold it and give it a little pressure. Okay. Um, and then we can tip the drum straight on to its side uh, with the export underneath. Same as lifting it then, doesn't it, onto the export itself. So once that's on again, we'll see that's got a lovely smooth motion in order that it whips around. We don't need to uncoil this one, but we do need to see what the export 500 can do. So you're in for the largest drum that we've got in shot. And we're gonna pop that one onto there, see how much uh, that can do. Um, that's the wrong one, Aaron. Yeah, I don't think we need the Export 500 yet, so we're nowhere near the maximum capacity of the Export 300. So that is 500 kilograms as a maximum, and wow. that's probably more than we can comfortably lift between us. <laughs> okay, so yeah, down it goes, and again, a nice smooth action. That, that's incredible, isn't it? That size of cable drum against the size of the Export is a massive difference. What's this one for? This is to test out the Export 500. Wow. So what cable is it first before we go for the weight? So this is EV Ultra 3 core 4mm and there's over 2,000 metres on this drum, which is a 1,500mm drum, so 1.5 metres high. Wow, that is a big drum. Now, obviously back in the day, as we suggested, we'd be out with possibly the forklift, that big metal bar that would be concerned about the weight it can carry, a couple of jacks would be concerned that they might tip over. But this is still a one-person job, obviously, if one person's driving that forklift. But once they've located it into position and dropped it down, it can be just that single person winding this drum of cable off. Yet it looks beyond the capabilities of one person, doesn't it? Yeah, and I think it's really impressive the, the weight that this Export 500 can carry is more than anybody could actually load manually. And we're now having to get to a fork truck to take it up to its maximum capacity, which is at 800 kilograms. So once that's dropped on there, it's going to have no issues at all. It's well within the weight capabilities. It's just, it's just mind-blowing, isn't it, how large that drum is compared to the Export 500, which is tiny. Think how much room it's not going to take up on your van in order that you can use it to unwind cable drums of this size. So once the forklift truck's out the way, we'll be able to see how easy this one can rotate round. So just pull out the way. Yep, so there we go. So do you want to just give it a little uh, shove round for me and uh, see how easy that one spins? Yeah. And you're saying we could add some more weight to it? If we had some more ballast, we could add some more ballast to the top of there. I'm sure I can find some. <laughs> like a couple of kids in a playground, yeah, on the old merry-go-round. There they are, happy as Larry. Absolutely unbelievable what the Export 3 and 500 can do. However, the Export 500's got some other top features, and you can check it out in the video just there. And if you wonder what these were up to, check out the video above it.